This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Donald Trump is now fully running on the platform of presidential immunity. And because in Republican circles and with the Republican electorate, he can say or do anything and not have it uh, come harm, bring harm to him, he is just telling it like it is. He is telling it exactly as it is. It's one of the rare moments where Donald Trump isn't lying. He's just telling the truth because it doesn't matter. When he said, I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and not lose a single voter, he, there was something to that. He knew he had tapped into something before really anybody knew just how much of that thing he had tapped into. Because now he is campaigning on the reason presidential immunity is important is so he can act like a rogue cop and do whatever he wants. That's not an exaggeration. I'm not being uh, YouTube-tastic or hyperbolic in that way. That is what he's saying. He's comparing it to having a rogue, you need to have cops be able to do what they want, even though there's a handful of rogue cops who are gonna go crazy and break the law and be terrible. So in his mind, he's that rogue cop. Yeah, presidents, all the presidents need immunity, even though I'm gonna do terrible things and need immunity for my crimes. Here's the clip. It's slightly longer than I normally play. There'll be the timer. If you can't stand the look at his of his face or of his stupid voice, I understand. You can skip ahead as you see as you follow the timer. Watch this. The other vote they're taking is going to be on immunity for the president. Now, this isn't just me. This is all president. They have to be given immunity. Otherwise, they're going to be unable to act. Anything they do, if it goes wrong, even if it goes right, the opposing party, and you see that now, where you have these people, they're crazy, they're absolute. The opposing party will indict them for anything they do. So a president has to be given immunity. And this has nothing to do with me. This has to do with every single president. As an example, when Biden gets out, I mean, has that guy got a list you could go after? But you have to give a president immunity. Otherwise, take a look at Harry Truman. He wouldn't have done if you think Hiroshima, not exactly a nice act, but it did end the Second World War, probably, right? Nagasaki, he wouldn't be doing that. He said, I don't want to do that because my, my opponents will indict me. You have to give a president full and total immunity. And, you know, I liken it to a little bit, uh, police, you have to give them back their authority and their power because our country is crime rich. And when you do that, you're going to have a rogue cop. You're going to have a bad apple somewhere along the line. Very, very few, surprisingly few, but you're going to have some. And what they're doing is they're trying to protect so much against that that crime is rampant all over the place. And, you know, the police are incredible and the firemen and everyone else, they're, but they're incredible. These are incredible people and they want to do their job and they're not allowed to do it. Just like the Border Patrol wants to do their job. They're not allowed. They're under orders. You'll lose your house. You'll lose your everything you have. You'll lose your family, your wife, family, husband, family. You're going to lose everything if you do it. If you act when they see people walking out of the stores carrying televisions, don't do it. Don't touch them. Don't do anything. We have to go back to being a country of law and order. Have to do it. And you will have very seldom, but you will have the rogue. We call it the rogue cop the bad apple, and perhaps you'll have that also with president. But there's nothing you can do about that. You're going to have to give the president, you're going to have to allow a president, any president, to have immunity so that that president can act and do what he feels and what his group of advisors feel is the absolute right thing. Otherwise, you're going to have presidents that are totally impotent, and we've had enough of them already. We've had enough of them already. So having immunity is so important and I hope the Supreme Court has the courage to do that because otherwise you're just not going to be in a very strong position very long. It'll totally change our country in my opinion. That's how bad it would be. The Republican soon to be, the Republican nominee 
for President of the United States is making his campaign about being able to do crimes while president, being able to unfettered commit crimes. He will continue to commit crimes. He's ultimately confessing and he's admitting to having committed crimes just like a rogue cop. You got to keep this in the way it is because uh, immunity, because uh, presidents, because uh, I'm going to do bad shit. And the Republicans largely do not care. Republicans largely are encouraging this type of behavior. The Republicans who act like the rule of law means something, who act like equal protection under the law means something because it's in the Constitution that they're constantly waving around, that they're constantly acting like matters, it doesn't matter. The president up to this point is but a man, but an individual, but a, but, but a solitary citizen. Other than needing immunity from actual uh, waging of wars, things like this that are in the official duties of the president. That's what it's for. That is what immunity stands for. Immunity is not you get to kill someone on Fifth Avenue. You get to dispatch a team of Navy SEALs to assassinate a political rival. Arguments that have literally been made in federal court for this immunity argument. That's not what the rule of law is. Donald Trump is not a king. Donald Trump is not unaccountable. A president of any stripe is not. And now it's out in the open. This is what the campaign is about. This is all that matters to him is covering his own ass. This is where we are. And in November, we have a choice. It is more clear, it is more definite, and it is more dire than ever that we do not make that choice. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, as always, daily at dollamore.com. I'd absolutely love to hear from you. Uh, you can uh, just mix it up in the comments too. That helps to trigger the algorithm, trigger YouTube to recommend this channel to new viewers. And that would be great. If I'm your flavor of political commentator and you want to help produce this work, you can click the join button below. I would encourage you to do so. For $1.99 a month, you can become a channel member. You can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All those are great ways. You can hit the super thanks button, buy some merch, but make sure you're subscribed. Um, that's the most important thing. Share this video with someone who needs the information. That is the most important thing. Uh, we're here to, to win hearts and minds and disseminate uh, accurate information to combat the lies and subterfuge of the uh, fascists among us. <laughs> Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.